Good afternoon, YouTube pipe community. Javier from Javi Pipes coming to you from a finely sunny and warm backyard of Casa Morales. Uh, nice day out, so I'm just kicking back and uh, enjoying some time outside with uh, Ramsey's the Houdini Wonder Escape Dog. Just watching him run around circles, dig more holes in the backyard. Uh, today I'm smoking my Wizard Cobbit, or as I like to refer to it now, my Sunday Church Warden. And in it I have Stokeby's Luxury Twist Plug. So today I'm doing a VR to Chris from Silent Wisdom Experience for his giveaway. And in it he asks... What would you do if you were to win the Powerball lottery, whatever it was, for hundreds of millions of dollars, really? Well, it's a really good question. And there's a couple things that I would love to do with it. But it's got to be something to help others. Which got me thinking there's still a few things that I would really love to do with it. First off, I'd like to establish a college scholarship fund. Um, I'd want to set aside a certain amount, have it invested properly so that it would continue to uh, fund itself in the long run. Um, something sustainable. I have a 19 year old in college. It's so, I mean, it was expensive when I went to college, but it's so much more expensive now. And so many kids that don't get the opportunity to go to college uh, because of the money. And, you know, obviously there would be some criteria to qualify for the scholarship. Um, but it'd be based on the whole person concept. You know, um, I didn't have the best grades in the world in high school. Didn't do well on the ACT at all. And uh, my college, University of St. Thomas in St. Paul, Minnesota, little plug-in for them, um, they gave a guy with, yeah, about average grades with lousy test scores, uh, a chance, an opportunity. And and that meant the world to me. And there's a lot of guys out there. There's a lot of kids out there. You know, it, it's not their fault. It's not that they don't want to do well in school. Um, but for whatever reason, they, they struggle with it. And, and, you know, there's just not a whole lot of scholarships for those kinds of kids. Um, so that's what I would, one of the things I would love to do. Uh, with that amount of money is set up a college fund and uh, there'd be no set limit to how many people could have a scholarship or anything. Um, I'd just like kids to have that opportunity. Now having mentioned my alma mater, something else I'd like to do besides keeping this pipe lit is I'd like to donate to the construction of a new education building for my own university. Um, that was for the best years of my life. Uh, I learned a lot there. I really enjoyed the experience. I met my wife there. Um, it's a place that will always be very, very special to me. Um, they gave me a chance and I took full advantage of it and it, it's one thing that I've always wanted to do is to be able to give back but I just don't have the, the means or the wherewithal to do that so uh, those are two things I would love to do with a huge amount of money like that invest it into a self-funding scholarship fund and to 
Sorry, a lot of barking going on. Rams has decided he wants to have a conversation with every dog in the neighborhood. And uh, put up a building. Um, you know, help help the place that that gave me an education continue to grow and flourish. As far as a shout out, speaking of shouting, yep. Um, I'd give a shout out to Max Wolf Northwest. Uh, that's the name of his channel, but he is actually known by Phil. And uh, Phil's very new. Uh, he's only been out there a couple weeks, and his subs are jumping up uh, really fast. And uh, he just has this kind way about him. He, he draws you in with his speaking uh, mannerisms, just has, has one of those voices that just captures your attention. And uh, he's a lot of fun to watch. Um, he did a great video here recently on a Yabo um, that, that he got from Clay Orr Jr. And uh, just the excitement he had. I, I, you know, somebody made the comment, uh, you're like a little kid at Christmas. And, and all I could think was, and like a sibling at Christmas, I just wanted to reach through the screen and help him tear that thing apart and see what was in there. It's just, he, he just created so much suspense and so much excitement. Um, it's a great channel, and, and I really enjoy watching it. So, uh, Chris, uh, thank you for the opportunity to participate in the giveaway. And until next time, I'll see you all later.